Welcome to Unreal Tips and Tricks. We're going to be looking at how to set up and use cinematic depth of field to create high quality photorealistic cinematics. The cinematic camera in Unreal gives us access to physically correct camera settings that work just like a real world camera does. Let's briefly look at some key camera concepts before we proceed. The diagram on screen represents how a camera works in the real world. Starting from the left at number one, the red, blue, and green dots represent the background, focal point, and foreground respectively in the scene we're trying to capture. The distance covered at value 2 represents the distance from the focal point to the camera's lens or focus distance. At number 3 is the camera lens, and just behind that is the diaphragm at number 4. The diaphragm opens and closes to allow more or less light into the camera, and the diaphragm is represented by the f-stop number. At point 5 is the focal length, which specifies the distance from the camera lens to the camera's film back or digital sensor at point 6. The larger the opening of the diaphragm, or the lower the f-stop number, the greater the effect of depth of field. This is referred to as shallow depth of field. Setting the f-stop higher closes the diaphragm, thus making the opening smaller, and this reduces the depth of field effect, bringing more objects into focus. While a shallow depth of field allows us to focus in very tightly on an object, leaving everything in the foreground and background out of focus. These three key settings, focus distance, focal length, and f-stop work in conjunction to not only alter the zoom and field of view of the camera, but also the strength and quality of the depth of field. We'll be using the Cine Camera Actor in this demonstration. The camera and the depth of field effect it produces was designed to be used in cinematics, not during gameplay. For gameplay, use a standard Unreal camera instead, and then use circular depth of field in the standard camera or a post-process volume. I've already got a sequencer master track and a shot track set up. So I could double click the shot track and it will add a camera into the sequence by holding control and dragging the Cine Camera Actor into the viewport. The Cine Camera Actor is found under Cinematics on the Modes panel. From here, we can lock the camera to the viewport, allowing it to be piloted using the Unreal Viewport controls. With the camera selected, let's look at the lens settings in the Details panel. The filmback settings allow us to specify the sensor type and thus the width, height, and aspect ratio. I'm going to leave it at the default of 16x9 DSLR sensor. Keep in mind that a larger sensor will produce a more dramatic depth of field effect. Next up are the lens settings. Using the drop down allows us to select several standard lens types, such as the 30mm prime lens without a zoom or a 70 to 200mm zoom lens. We'll stick with universal zoom for now. Under the drop down, we can adjust the min and max focal length. Remember, focal length will let us tweak the distance from the lens to the film back sensor, which controls the field of view and the zoom. We also have controls for min and max f-stop or aperture opening. And remember here, a lower value will increase the depth of field effect so that only the focal point is in focus, while everything around it, the foreground and the background, will be blurred out. Last of all, we can change the diaphragm blade count here. The blade count is going to determine the overall shape of your bokeh effects in conjunction with the minimum f-stop value and the current aperture opening. The closer the aperture opening gets to the minimum f-stop value, the rounder the bokeh shape becomes. Keep in mind that these are the min and max values for our Cine camera. To actually tweak the values in the camera, we need to move down to focus settings. The manual focus distance defaults to 100,000 centimeters. This is the distance from our lens to the object we want to focus on. Think of this as a plane of focus that we can move either closer to or further away from the camera. The distance can be tweaked manually, or we can use the eyedropper here to pick an object in the viewport to focus on. When tweaking the focus distance, it's also a good tip to enable the debug focus plane. This lets us position the colored plane in the viewport so that it overlaps the object that we want to focus on. With our focus distance set, we'll want to now adjust the zoom and field of view with the current focal length. Higher values here will zoom in tighter on the subject, while lower values give us a wider angle from further away. When the focus distance and the focal length are nearly identical, you'll get much stronger depth of field blurring, assuming of course your current aperture is set to a low f-stop value. Other than the focus distance debug plane, there's also another option that lets us visualize the camera's focus settings. You'll find this option under the Show button in the viewport. From here, select Visualize, and then Depth of Field Layers. 
This gives us a colored viewport showing the focal plane in black, while foreground objects are in green and background objects are blue. One last tip. All of these settings can be animated in Sequencer along with camera moves. In fact, all three primary settings are already added to our camera in Sequencer. Simply set a keyframe for each, move to the next frame, and tweak the settings to create a new keyframe. All right, so thanks for watching this episode, and we'll see you again on another Unreal Tips and Tricks. Thank you.